Hey there, drone fans. Today is another incredibly exciting day because the brand new Hover Air X1 Pro Max just arrived this morning. Now, a few weeks ago, we were invited to a launch event and I wasn't quite sure what to expect because the invitation didn't have a lot of details. We just knew that it was a brand new Zero Zero Robotics product based on the Hover Air X1. And I thought to myself, well, this could be a lot of different things. And I really like this company because Zero Zero Robotics is the kind of company that's looking at a market and thinking, we can build something different. So if we're gonna build a drone, we're not gonna build a standard quadcopter. We're gonna to look to build a drone that's a little bit different than everybody else. And they've come out with a lot of really innovative products over the years. Probably a lot of you remember the V-copter, which I couldn't believe that thing would fly because you need four props typically to fly. And that one had two props and it flew, it flew like a bird. I did a review on it, I flew it for a couple of months. I really, really liked that quadcopter. Then they came out with the Hover Air X1 which is essentially, I've got one here, it's essentially a pocket drone that you unfold, put up in the air, hit a button, and it flies predetermined patterns around you. So it's, it's really like a selfie drone. It'll follow you through the woods, it'll circle you, it takes great video. So I really like this product a lot and I use it quite often. So when I heard they were coming out with an X1 Pro Max, I thought, what could the difference be? What could they have done to the product to really improve it and make it a different product than the X1? Well, here it is. And boy, have they changed everything. I'm not kidding you. This is a professional level drone that looks like the X1, but it's got a whole lot more smarts and features and video capabilities built into it. The company didn't slow down. When they came out with this product, it was so popular that they thought, how do we take it to the next level? So what I'm gonna to do today is unbox the brand new Pro Max and show you what it looks like, talk about some of the features and some of the functionality, and then I'm gonna do a lot of testing around this product over the next couple of weeks, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But today I wanna to get inside the box because I haven't opened it yet, and I wanna get outside once it's charged up and start flying it because what Hover's done with this, or I should say Zero Zero Robotics has done, is they built a drone that can be used as a selfie drone, but they have a complete range of accessories, including a beacon and remote controllers and a charging case and all kinds of other things for this product that really expands the use case beyond just a selfie drone. So I'll get into all that in separate video reviews, but for today, it's just gonna be the unboxing. So I am so excited to start using this drone. Let me open up the box and see what it looks like. So they did a great job on the outside. It's got a picture of the unit in the front, and there are two different models of this particular product. So the Hover Air X X1 Pro and Pro Max, and they have different features. This is the Pro Max, it's their top of the line product. And just to tease you a little bit, it records 8K video. 8K video, that's right, I said an 8K video. It'll fly up to 500 meters away using the drone itself and your phone, but if you use the beacon, which is the remote controller, it can fly up to a kilometer away. You're gonna get about 16 minutes of airtime out of it. So it's really a great drone if you're doing vlogs out there in the field and you wanna have something follow you from 10 or 15 feet up in the air, or you're on vacation and you've got it in your jacket pocket and you've got a beautiful location and you wanna get a shot of that with you and your friend or your wife or whatever, put the drone up, it'll actually take that video for you and show you that beautiful background. It'll circle you. It's a great little product. All right, anyway, let me get in the box. <laughs> All right, so I think this just, yep, just slides out here. Let's see if I can get this off without ripping anything. Oh, this is really nice packaging. So they've got a sleeve outside and a really nice box on the inside. Now, how do I open this guy up? Oh, it's got a magnetic catch. Boy, do I love boxes with magnetic catches. Look at that. All right, so let me open it up. Now, again, I saw this at the, at the launch event, but I haven't actually had a lot of time to analyze it and look at it closely. Oh, it comes with a case. <laughs> look at that, it's got its own case. That's pretty cool. What else is in here? Let's see, so I've got a card here that talks about how to download the application and how to handle the flight. And there's a bunch of other accessories inside. So before I open this up, let me just see what else is inside the box. So down the bottom here, looks like a bunch of manuals, another box over here, another little box over here, and then a spacer. So that's it for the box. So let me put this off to the side, get that out of the way. I'm not gonna open this yet, we'll get into it in a minute. Let's see what this is all about. All right, Hover Air. Oh boy, there's a lot of manuals here. You know what, I like a company that prints manuals because so many companies nowadays don't want to spend time printing manuals and they'll give you like a QR code where you got to download the manual and you got to read it on your phone. It's a real, it's a real pain. So a company that puts together a printed manual like this, by the way, with big printing and a ton of pictures, which is great for an older guy like me because I like pictures. So that's great. 
I always recommend you read the manuals because even though this is an incredibly easy product to use, you want to read the manual because there are going to be features in here that you may not uncover on your own because even though you're pretty intuitive and it's a pretty easy product to fly, you want to make sure you get the best value out of the product. So in here, you've got a safety guide and you've got a quick start guide. So always read through the manuals. All right, so let's put those aside for now and see what other goodies are in here. Here's another box, which I don't know what's in here, but I'm going to tell you in a second. As soon as I get it open, what's in here? Whoa, a carrying bag. Oh, this is nice. So apparently, you've got a carry bag, just like you did with the X1, where you could put the unit in here if you're traveling. Keep it inside here. It'll keep it from getting banged around and getting scratched up. So that's a really nice accessory. And what do we got in here? It looks like a charging cable. So let's see. It's probably going to be a USB-C to USB-C. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So it's a USB-C to USB-C. Now, the nice thing is you can charge the batteries directly in the unit just by plugging it into a standard charger. I'd recommend a 65 water. You probably can get by with a 35 water or a 33 water, but the faster you want to charge it, the bigger the uh, charger capable. So use a PD charger with this if you can, because again, it's going to fast charge, but that's really nice to include the cable. That's, that's a bare minimum of what you need to charge it. All right, let me get rid of that. All right, we're ready for the drone. <laughs> Uh, here we go. What a nice case. It's got a little loop lanyard here. You can hang it off the back of your backpack with you. And I like the fact that they give you sort of a, a firm case. You know, it's got a really nice exterior on it and it's crush proof. So the drone's inside there and it's protected. All right, let's see. I'm going to open the case up. Now, before I describe this, I just want to take another look at it because when I saw it at the show, I was so impressed with the quality of the product. And I got to tell you, the folks that were there at the show really understood the product well. So when I asked them questions, they had the answers. And I asked them a lot of really hard questions because an innovation like this takes a long time. It's an engineering moon launch almost when you put a product like this together because you've got to fit all of the technology required for flying this drone into this tiny little case right here, this airframe, and then you've got to balance it out because you have prop guards that infect the aerodynamics of it. So the engineering behind this is not just a simple matter of taking an ESC controller and a flight controller and sticking it on a board. There's a lot more work that goes into that. But anyway, let me get inside the box. I'm getting, getting beside myself. Let me just take a deep breath because I'm going to be really excited when I see this. <laughs> Okay. All right. So first thing, there's some desiccant. Oh, it's not desiccant. What is it? Looks like uh, maybe it's a mint. I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look. Oh, it's an aromatic. I guess it is desiccant. Maybe it's a, it's a different type of desiccant. It's not a, a crystallized one. So I'll, I'll spend some time with that later. This is the big deal right here. All right. So what do we got? We got a charger with an extra battery in it. So the kit comes with two batteries, one in the actual drone. I hate to even call it a drone, but one in the drone and one in the charger. And there's a dual battery charger right here with a USB-C connection on the end. So I guess you pop both batteries in here, just like with the X1, charge it up with the charger. And here's a, ma a major bonus you don't see from a lot of companies nowadays. They include a charger. So most companies will sell you a drone nowadays or a technology, piece of technology today, and there's no charger in the box. You gotta go scrambling for a charger. Maybe you have one, maybe you don't. Look what Hover did. Zero Zero Robotics knows you need a charger. This is a really nice USB-C 65 watt charger. So plug this into the wall, use the cable that came with it, plug it into your drone or plug it into the dual charger and charge up those batteries. Boy, that's nice they give you the charger. I like that a lot. All right, so what else we got in here? Looks like some more manuals. Let me open these guys up. Now, take me a second here. All right, this is probably gonna be more information about the drone. Yep, it looks like uh, another quick start guide that goes through how the charger works and a few other things about the accessories that are included. So again, read through that. And I know that this takes a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. So spend some time and go through that. All right, enough of that. Let's get into the drone. <laughs> and that's it for the case. All right, let me set the case aside. I don't want to drop this. Let me put this over here and put the case over there. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Boy, this is a beaut. This is a beauty. All right, so the way this works is basically these two wings right here fold out just like on the X1 and you have a drone. You have four propellers, two on either side. You've got a really nice cage here so you're not gonna get your fingers hurt by hitting the propellers. And when I was at the show, I was asking them about this cage because I always worried about the cage breaking. This material is incredibly tough. It's incredibly lightweight, but it's really, really durable as well. We had a, a sample grid at the show and we were twisting it and pulling it and you could not snap it. I mean, it's really built to take the, take the abuse. Now, one thing I noticed right off the bat is that unlike the original X1, the new X1 Pro has 
more aerodynamics in the front because that flat front will affect the aerodynamics when it's flying and it'll cut down on the flight time a little bit because you're fighting the resistance of the wind. This one has more curved front, so it's going to give you better aerodynamics. It's also bigger, so when I set them up side by side, there you go. So you can see it's physically bigger than the original X1, but the thing you should really notice here is the camera. It's a beautiful camera. Look at that camera on there. That's incredible. And the other difference too is that this is a single axis gimbal with electronic image stabilization. So all it can do is up and down like this. It can't correct for motion side to side and it can't correct for motion this way. This has a two axis gimbal on it. So it's up and down and left and right plus electronic image stabilization. So it's got a, a steadying or stabilizing feature inside where it anticipates the movement of the drone based on the gyros. It's reading the gyros and it'll correct for that by oversampling the image and then moving the image around digitally in addition to having a mechanical gimbal. So this should produce some really rock solid video out there. Now let me take the battery out of this guy, hazard that. Yeah, it pops out just like it does in the X1. Pop it in the charger, charge it up, pop it back in. All right, another thing I'm noticing right away is that on the original X1, your controls here at the top were pretty basic. You had uh, LEDs that would light up to tell you which mode you were in. You can make a couple of choices from there. You got a lot more functionality by connecting it to an application, but it did the job. I mean, I've used this an awful lot. I had it in vacation. I fly with it all the time. And it's great because unlike a regular drone that could take you, you know, two minutes, three minutes to actually power it up, sync it up to a controller, get it up in the air, get the shot for, it could be five minutes before you get a chance to take the picture. And by that time, Uncle Frank's already bored. He's, he's walked off. He's done. He's not waiting for it. With this one, it's literally about 10 seconds from power up to flying to taking the picture, plus it's automated. Everything is built into the unit. But what I was going for there is on this one, you've got a very simple control up front. With this one, you've got a digital display. So it's going to give you digital information about exactly what's going on and uh, will give you a lot more control over it. Now, the thing I like about this unit, in addition to all the things I've mentioned already, is the fact that it can record 8K footage. Now, there are certain modes that it records 8K versus 4K, but the video footage in this is going to be a lot better than it was on the original X1. So their uh, Zero Zero Robotics team told me that this is for the average consumer. The step up from this would be the Pro, which again is good for a consumer and some professional flying, but the Pro Max is really designed for the professional flyer. So if you're flying a drone today and you're doing any kind of commercial work with it, or if you're a consumer that wants the best possible imaging, this is the one to go with. And again, between these two, uh, about 15, 16 minutes of flight time, 500 meters uh, without the beacon. If you're using the beacon, it gives you up to 1,000 meters away. Now, I'm going to review the beacon and all the other accessories that are available for it completely in a separate video. But that beacon also gives you a live view from the unit. So you can actually fly it from the beacon and you can sort of like snap together a bunch of different accessories to give you a fully functioning controller that you pop your phone in and actually have a live view on the phone. So there's a, a whole ecosystem of components that come along with the Hover X1 Pro Max. But again, to get started, um, I think they've done a great job here. I like the look of it. It's all nice and black. It's like gra graphite black. Uh, beautiful picture, uh, beautiful audio recording as well through the beacon. And then one other thing I wanted to mention is on the Pro Max, they've got infrared sensors in the bottom right there which help with time of flight. So they're time of flight sensors that help with knowing how close it is to the ground and helping with stability. On the Pro Max, they've got a rear sensor on it that's an optical sensor. So on the Pro, it's an IR rear sensor, which does an okay job, but the optical sensor is much more accurate. So with this one, when you're backing up, it'll crash avoid in behind you. It's got obstacle avoidance behind it as it's backing up. And the fact that it's optical in addition to the IR means you've got a much more accurate uh, obstacle avoidance on the rear in that unit. But boy, this is a beautiful looking piece here. And it's magnetically closed. When you bring it together, it just snaps closed like that. Fits in the bag and you're good to go. Well, anyway, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I gave you a really brief overview of the product today because I wanted to do an unboxing. Mostly, I want to get outside and charge this thing up and start flying it. But I've been super impressed with the original X1. I've been using this an awful lot. I cannot wait to start recording video with the X1 Pro Max and showing you what the footage looks like and showing you how it flies and all the other things it can do. And again, there's a lot of accessories that I'm going to cover in a separate review. But for me, I was so impressed with this product because we flew it a little bit at the launch event and it was quieter, it was more stable in the air, the footage looked phenomenal, and I think it's just a major step up for these guys over at Zero Zero Robotics. So stay tuned for the other clips, and that's all I really had for today. Thanks an awful lot for watching, and as always, <laughs> happy flying.